What is hyperbaric oxygen therapy and what is it used for? Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is a therapy where the person is breathing pure oxygen in a pressurized environment known as a hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber, where the air pressure is increased two or three times higher than the normal air pressure. Under these conditions, the lungs can gather much more oxygen than would be possible breathing pure oxygen at normal air pressure. And this will enhance the amount of oxygen dissolved in the body's tissues. HBOT is a well-established treatment for some medical conditions, including, but not exclusively, decompression sickness, which is a potential risk of scuba diving, serious infections, arterial gas embolism, which is bubbles of air in the blood vessels, and wounds that may not heal as a result of diabetes or radiation injury, and so on. How does HBOT work for those medical conditions? Our body's tissues need an adequate supply of oxygen to function. When our tissues become injured, they require more oxygen than normal to survive. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy increases the amount of oxygen your blood can carry. With repeated scheduled treatments, the temporary extra high oxygen levels encourage optimum tissue oxygen levels, even after the therapy is completed. When the blood carries this extra oxygen throughout the body, this helps to fight bacteria and stimulates the release of substances called growth factors and stem cells which promote healing. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy for anti-aging. Telomeres and oxidative stress. Telomeres are distinctive sections of DNA found at the ends of each of our chromosomes. Over time, due to each cell division, the telomere ends become shorter. In another word, telomere length shortens with age. Progressive shortening of telomeres leads to senescence, apoptosis, or oncogenic transformation of somatic cells, affecting the health and lifespan of an individual. While many genetic and environmental factors are associated with telomere shortening, the currently favored mechanism is oxidative stress. Oxidative stress can occur from imbalances between the production of reactive oxygen species and cellular scavengers. Telomeres are highly sensitive to oxidative DNA damage, which can induce telomere shortening and dysfunction. Human cell culture studies consistently show that mild oxidative stress accelerates telomere shortening, whereas antioxidants and free radical scavengers decrease shortening rate and increase the cellular proliferative lifespan. The anti-aging effects of hyperbaric oxygen therapy a study just published in Aging on November the 18th, 2020, indicates that hyperbaric oxygen treatments in healthy aging adults can stop the aging of blood cells and reverse the aging process. In the biological sense, the adult's blood cells actually grow younger as the treatments progress. The rationale behind the study is that telomere length shortening and cellular senescence are two key hallmarks of the aging process. Repeated intermittent hypoxic exposures can induce regenerative effects which normally occur during hypoxia. The study tried to evaluate whether hyperbaric oxygen therapy affects telomere length and senescent cell concentrations in a normal, non-pathological, aging adult population. 35 healthy, independently living adults aged 64 and older were enrolled to receive 60 daily HBOT exposures. Whole blood samples were collected at baseline at the 30th and 60th session and one to two weeks following the last session. Peripheral blood mononuclear cell telomere lengths and the senescence were assessed. The researchers found that hyperbaric oxygen therapy can reverse the two major processes associated with aging and its illnesses the shortening of telomeres and the accumulation of old and malfunctioning cells in the body. 
Focusing on immune cells containing DNA obtained from the participants' blood, the telomeres at the ends of the chromosomes grew longer instead of shorter at a rate of 20 to 38% for the different cell types, and the percentage of senescent cells in the overall cell population was reduced significantly by 11 to 37% depending on cell type. Now these are really impressive, exciting, great results, it has to be agreed. However, we have to be aware of some limitations with this study. It was a very small trial with only 26 successfully completing a telomere study and 20 the senescent cell study and there was no control group. No clear mechanism for the processes observed has been described or offered yet. The internal standard their assay used is prone to photo bleaching which could explain their results. And the results did have quite high error bars and wide ranging levels of statistical significance, suggesting a large variation in the results. Oh, and almost all of the authors work at a hyperbaric oxygen clinic. Whilst this is not technically a conflict of interest, the boundaries are starting to blur, it has to be said. So, with all this in mind, the ways to move forward are, well, we need to know, firstly and foremost, if this is a real effect. We need more studies with more people and better blood work to prove whether this is actually happening to a statistically significant level or not. And then if it is, how quickly the effect kicks in, at what point does it plateau, and then how long does it last once the treatment is stopped. And when looking at the results, were the people who had lost the most of their telomere length regaining it back the quickest? Or perhaps those who have preserved their telomere levels best were seeing the benefits of healthier cells reaping the bounty of unlimited oxygen to fuel their processes? Or maybe there was a correlation to their fitness and activity regime such that they had developed a better vascular system with which to distribute the additional fuel? We need more studies and a lot more data to answer questions over a study that has really caught the imagination. But as with most of the treatments being researched all the time, for the foreseeable future anyway, we will need many strings to our bow as they say, so maybe stick to the food and exercise regime for now. And one last note, if the effects that were seen were real and at the level seen, they were maybe even more than eight times greater than the benefits shown in studies of six months of HIT or endurance training. Quite amazing. So, as with all great science, a very interesting beginning, in need of much more data and definitely something to keep an eye on. And if you're rich and want to fund some studies, well, I'll happily take part. But until next time, why not watch this video on the hallmarks of aging right here? Or if you've already seen that one, then this other one might be of interest. See you all soon.